Okay, so I just want to give a brief overview of ORCID um, and why it's an interesting place to uh, put your app and reach users. Um, I don't really need my slides to tell you the vitals, right? ORCID is really big in South America. It's like a phenomenon in Brazil. It, it's just everywhere, right? So our, our big user base, and let's see, couple that with the fact that these Brazilian users are on ORCID all day long. They're just constantly you know, sending messages to each other. They use it, it's like their primary form of communication. They're not doing email, they're not doing other things down there. They are on ORCID all the time. So getting there means you're getting a lot of users and you're getting a lot of very active users. Okay, so here's my slides. Here's another takeaway here, the, the language in Brazil is Portuguese. So if you're writing your app in English, you're not gonna be able to hit all of those users. So instead of it's good to be one, it a bom para saram. Sorry, it means it's good to be one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so let's look at the vitals. Active users, tens of millions. Uh, we're pretty vague, but it's generally between 50 and 100 million users every month. It's a big chunk of people. Uh, the top countries I already talked about Brazil, but another country that has a lot of traction is India. This is also really good for developers because they speak English in India. So you can get your app on Orkut, start getting some traction. If it catches on, start translating into Portuguese and you're gonna hit a whole new market of users. Um, another thing to note is the browsers there. IE6 and IE7 have like 60, 66, I think it's like two thirds of the market share for the browsers that these guys are using. So make sure you're testing in IE6, even though you're probably not using it, right? Um, Firefox 2 is also on there, but it's, you know, you definitely wanna make sure things are working in IE6 and 7. Um, I talked a little bit about how you know, sticky ORCID is for these users. They love putting photos on there, sharing photos. We just recently launched a bunch of you know, the photo tagging kind of features. Um, they use scraps, which are you know, a way to send messages to each other and then it kind of appears, it's kind of like their wall or whatever. And, and it's just really big for self-expression. So, sorry, question? As far as I know, Firefox 2 is still more. I don't think that they have completely updated, just because m most of them are using IE anyway. Okay, um, okay so the, the last piece is self-expression. Somebody's profile on their ORCID page is like their, their life. It's their face to their friends. I mean, everyone's on ORCID, they're looking at their profile page, and they, you know, they will put lots of work into making their profile cool, which is why you want your app there. Um, you want people to show off your app as something that represents them and something that they want to show off to their friends. Um, just to give you an idea of the pervasiveness of ORCID, right? This is just a, a kind of an internet cafe where a lot of these users are getting online. And if you can see his screen, to demonstrate that he's on the internet, it's an ORCID login screen. I don't know if you guys can see that in the back. Um, so a little bit about the features. Right now, we just rolled out uh, version 0.8 JavaScript onto the production. So if you've been you know, looking at the 0.8 APIs and waiting for it to get on production, just happened this morning. Uh, and also we have support for sending messages between users and posting to activity streams. So those are these viral channels that help your app to spread. Uh, coming soon, what we're working on. Open Social's REST and RPC support. We want to enable those server-to-server -server interactions that are going to let you um, give you a little more freedom as you're coding. Uh, if you go to the breakout session, we actually can let you preview that, those APIs. They're not ready for you know, public release yet, but we'll, we'll play around with them a little bit today. Uh, we're working on a photos API. Like I said, you know, uh, sharing photos is a big thing that people on social networks and ORCID like to do. And so we're gonna let your apps access those photos. We're gonna start with a read-only API and then we wanna move to letting you uh, upload photos and save photos to the user's album. And the third thing is uh, there's a lot of stats that we wanna share with you. Um, you can do some analytics on your own site and in your app, but there's some stuff that happens in other parts of ORCID that you just can't tell, like how often are people clicking on the, the links in your activity streams and stuff like that. So we're working on sharing that data with you to help you create better apps and uh, create better experiences for the users. Okay, uh, so this is just a laundry list of links. The most important one is at the top. Uh, if you go to wiki.opensocial.org, just on the front page there, there's a list of containers, and if you click on ORCID, you'll see uh, the ORCID's page on the wiki, and it just has all these links. So we've got docs that have tutorials and articles get you running. 
We've got, you know, the policies. What can you do? What can't you do? You know, do we let you have ads here? What kind of, you know, things are you allowed to do? Uh, there's a, de a developer forum. Today you won't need it because we're all here and we can help you in person, but tomorrow, the next day, you can actually go home and post questions here. Uh, a note about the sandboxes. So we have one, sandbox.orchid.com, uh, where it's kind of the bleeding edge. That's where you're going to find the latest versions of the JavaScript client library, or the, the JavaScript APIs. Um, but we also have prod.sandbox.orchid.com. And that is an a instance of Orchid that it's exactly like production without all of the users. So if you roll your app out um, you, and you're actually maintaining it, you want to change something, you can test it on prod.sandbox.orchid.com first and make sure that you're not going to break anything. Uh, the last one, we have a blog, Orchid Developer at blogspot.com, that just, you know, whenever we push an update, we put a blog out there. Any kind of, you know, announcements or news, we go there. Uh, so you definitely want to subscribe to that and keep an eye on it. And the last one is just uh, the IRC channel. It's the same one that I mentioned earlier, um, but we have people from the Orchid team in there. So if you have specific issues with Orchid, you need to answer quickly, I would go in there and, and check it out. Oh, so prizes. So, you know, the raffle stuff that Dan explained, for Orchid, if you uh, get chosen, we can promote your app on the Orchid blog in Portuguese. We'll translate it to Portuguese. We've got half a million monthly readers, so this is a lot of uh, publicity for you. Uh, we can also help translate your app into Portuguese. So if, you're, if you, know, you don't know Portuguese, if you don't have a friend that knows Portuguese, we'll do it for you, all right? Uh, and this is going to let you tap into a whole um, bunch of users. And the last one, I forgot the t-shirts, but I will get them to you. <laughs> So I, I do have t-shirts, and they're just, you know, they say uh, Orchid and Open Social, right? So, and they're very limited edition, so you want to get one of those. All right, that's it for Orchid.